Here's a top-down analysis and an NQ trade recap. Not too sure how long we'll go. We'll see. But starting off with, with the top-down analysis, we like to see kind of what zones could be in play, maybe a bit above us or a bit below us. So I like to start top down, right? So 32 is kind of the highest I go. I will look at 64 bar. You can look up how to use Renko bars and how they all mean, but it just shows you the swing points really clearly. And you can recognize patterns way faster. And so with that, it's just very beneficial. And so starting with what I can see here, recently, you know, we had this flip right here. And so this is what high. So how these Renko bars would have looked here, obviously, is it's coming down, printed this bar, and then it was reversing a bit, did a pullback, came down, and then we came above, came into this swing leg and all that. It did actually make a lower low, but then it broke it. And with this pattern, what we can see here is that we did break this down because this did push down lower. Now, on a higher time frame, you can see like that that leg, you know, I should have the time for that. Nine thirty. You can see that that leg. Okay. It was just a giant wick. Let me get rid of that. It was just a giant like news wick candle, so it didn't actually close below right here. It was just a wick. On some lower time frame, it did. Like you can see here on the five second on the right screen here, it closed below. So that's the other thing. It's like, okay, well, do you want body closure over wick and like, or is it wick over wick? It's kind of, that's where you need discretionary and back testing. And in this case, I mean, to some degree it would have worked out. It's like, well, how well can you execute in your psychology? And so if we look at this swing as a valid, you know, close below, then we can take a zone from here. Right, so I'll just extend it out. Take a zone from here. So that's a, a zone that's below us. It broke this leg. So we can draw this differently. Kind of being like this. And then we're looking for the pullback into this zone to go higher. So that's something we can be looking for long opportunities below us. And then above us, I can kind of see right here was a swing low and it got violated. So if we want to see what this looks like on the one minute, you know, we can see it was a huge push up on my right screen here is a huge push up. And so that was definitely a valid low. And so once that, that got broken, you know, it pushed up into the zone a bit. Let's draw it out. But it didn't get to the 50. So Dave says mitigation comes from 50 to 90%. And so that's definitely a valid zone that's still above us. It didn't uh, create a new low either. So it didn't mitigate the zone and it didn't create a new low after breaking it. Diving in further, what about this break? Is that a mitigated zone? It did mitigate it. So I'll kind of put that one aside for now. Um, let's see what else we have here. I mean, we had this zone. It wicked up here f about 50%, a bit more. So, you know, we can find other zones here. We'll keep keep the bigger ones here, try to keep it clean. And about, you know, we've, we've got this zone here. That was mitigated. I just wanted to show that, you know, you had this leg. It broke above it. You can kind of see the pattern almost within the swing. That's definitely a nice, a nice buy. 
how I would like to play that, just for a quick example. Come on here. Okay, this is a really high time frame. So use a three bar. There's a few longs we can do here. So, again, you can look at every break of a wick, even on the Renko bars, as a potential, potential long. So, could even use this zone. If it breaks above this, comes back into the zone. Almost came here, didn't quite work out. Oh. Pushed up, broke this one, so we can look for longs out of that zone. That definitely would have worked, right? You might have got long in here, got stopped out. If you wait for the 50, even five point stop, that's why you always want to put it below the protected low, ideally. I mean, 10 point stop, it's not ideal, but if we look here, you know, let's look here. At a lower, where are we at here? I need to do no time scroll. Oh no, that wasn't what we wanted. Ah, fine. Okay, let's uh, okay, there we go. I don't know, replay the Ninja Trader is like all right. So if we look for the first tap into this zone. Did we get a break pattern? Not here. Break pattern. Let's look for a break pattern. This is a low. Potential buy here because you had a high. Low. It broke it. Came back into the zone. Gave us a reversal bar. So you could along this. You know, it only went a point and a half. But if you do one to one with the bar size. It would have hit one to one. There's a few ways you can test it. Just one to one, putting the right below the wick, right at the low, or a tick below. It's all things you guys can consider and test. And then if we try to take another flip, you know, we broke this wick here. We made a new low, okay. Then we look, where can we break a wick? Oh, well, we did break this wick right here. Draw that long, came into the zone, can long here. You know, you, you get a one and a half point stop loss, right? And from where this is at here, that's right here. So one and a half point stop loss, you know, this thing went 50, like 65 points to the next high. Like, <laughs> You want a 1 to 45? There you go. I don't know if my math is right. but And then look, it broke. So you got your long off this wick. Oh, the next one it breaks? Okay. We got a new zone here. Didn't quite pull back to it. But the first place you can look to sell is... I mean, it's safe. Dave teaches. If you go to the 50%, you know body closure over wick ever do everything safe but the more advanced you know is going wick over wick and even more advanced is not waiting for the zone and so there are ways to trade a pattern right where you can do do both i wouldn't recommend it but the littlest you could do is wait for it to just go into the you know order block or blake breaker block i don't know however you want to call it because it could be called both but if this right here with this push up if it broke this then this is a zone. This is a zone you can use in and of itself. And you just want it to come into this zone at all of this breaker bar or order block, whatever you want to call it. And then give you another reversal bar in a Renko. So you can see here it perfectly wicked into it, give you a reversal bar. If anyone knows paths, you got a second entry long, bam, bam. <laughs> um and it's just really nice because not only that is it's 30% of this area, this swing down when it broke out. So you could use just that zone as well too. Bigger picture.
the little fine zone of the breaker that was just what i was showing you because that's a tiny pattern you know like if this one just did one reversal bar and then dipped let me clean up the zones for this little flip here if this one just did a reversal bar and then right away another reversal bar up you can see it wouldn't have came back into this zone and it wouldn't need to fall through but if it just like this reversal bar and reversal bar without a wick then it wouldn't have tapped the zone but it did pull back into the zone of the breaker bar here so just if remember if it didn't push down here but if it only went here and then up you got a perfect zone entry from that it could even just come to the very top too it technically doesn't even have to come to the zone that's even more <laughs> and just different things to think about how to use renkos because it's very mechanical right like you have the system where oh you get in off the reversal bar at the zone I guess it just makes it a lot better instead of just seeing it. I mean, it's good to look at five second as well. I also look at five second to see, you know, if you get the, the wick out and then close back in, you know, the reversal candlestick pattern again here. Harder to see that with this, but this is just, you can see the swings and everything way easier. Like looking at that on the five second, that would just be. I mean, you can definitely do it. It's just hard to see because, like, instead of being able to see, you know, came above, came to the top of this breaker bar, right? I mean, you can see it right there. That's it. It's just not as clean to me. If you can, you know, find the data and get it tested with Renko's, it just takes away more discretion. And then you can just focus all your discretion on the proper zones to trade up. If you trade out of the proper zones, uh, like, you're going to make money. Because that's the main thing of the system is knowing the zones. And knowing where the pullback is. Anyways, leading more up into the New York Open instead of looking into Renko trading. Okay, we've got... I mean, it's still respecting this zone, so we can still keep it active. It's like, if it continues to respect it, I mean, is it really unmitigated from this? I don't know. It's like, there's a wick here too, usually, oops, on some time frame. And it's like, well, that hasn't been to the 50%, so is that mitigated? The liquidity down here, at least? I don't know. Definitely could... Mitigation something I need to study more for sure. Anyways. So we have this main zone below. This main zone above. And let's just kind of go with the flow. And see where we're at. So right now. 6.16 a.m. Okay I'm going to follow. Follow the one minute. See where we're at. Okay so what, most recently. What can we see here? Clearly. There was a swing here that we're waiting to push back up into. What about the lowest push here? So D, yeah. Okay, so this is kind of the levels for what we got here. Okay, so we're in this zone. We can expect maybe a ping up. Since we're kind of consolidating ping pong between zones, we can ping pong up, ping pong down. I mean, that's the most logical, right? This is the lowest closing low. This is the highest point between the previous lowest closing low. Draw that zone out. Okay. I mean, it could be valid that it's already mitigated here from closed above, came up. But we'll see how the zone reacts. Let's turn it up. What I'm also going to look for is the reversal pattern on a low, low, low time frame. So I'll quickly see here. Is there anything? No confirmed pattern yet. Right. So right here, we're at a broken here. 
So if it comes in the zone, gives us a reversal bar, could potentially long. Okay, we'll have to adjust this because now it's broken this. This swing. As soon as you see it kind of tap, what you could do. Do I not have that on? Hmm. Oh well. Oh. There we go. Is have your sell. Oops. Buy. Whatever. Buy limit order trailing this threshold. So put us in. I definitely did not have the right ATM stop strategy on here because we should have a, a three point. Three point target. And then three point stop loss. I just moved it up because it already pushed up. And we'll just, and then a runner. So you can see I've got the runner. It's probably flipped. No, it didn't flip on the higher time frame yet. Okay, so I should have had a take profit out, but I was just leaving it. Because why not go for the money? <clears throat> I probably should, honestly, that's the thing. You don't want to have the same, you know, the same, what's it called, habits on. You want the same habits on demo that you're going to take live. So if I'm like, well, that's not what I would have done live. It's like, well, what are you doing then? Like, if I said I'll leave it at three, I should have, I should have put it at three. I should have been disciplined. But I kind of had a feeling it was going to push up into this zone. So on the other hand, it's like, you know, sometimes taking discretion. So it's going to give you the more edge and profit, even though it's not according to your mechanical system. You know, that's that's definitely where it's tough and where people think, oh, I can make more money if I if I just do this instead of following my mechanical system. And it's like, you're true here, right? You can understand here, sure, I made more money in this trade, but what if it just reversed on me, didn't take the profit there? And the data says that's where I should take profit for my edge to play out. You know, it's like, well, what are you really doing? So I, all these things are things to consider. Should be trailing break even or plus one, break even plus one tick if you know you get your first target pro like that's something to test is going break even either when it hits your first take profit, your scalp take profit, or when it breaks another higher structure, you know. So we're going to look to potentially reverse position up here. Let's just, I like to map fib zones also. See where we're at. So we're pushing the 50 of just how you normally draw a fib. And uh, you can kind of see a protected low could almost be right here because it made a new high. But, you know, a price is fractal, so it's not like, at what point do I, like on the higher bar, you know, there's not really a low. The low is still down here. That's why I like Renko's. It just, you know, you can use these Renko's for the trailing lows, different bar sizes to really, to really refine and execute. Like there, maybe that's an exit. I don't know. Did we get a flip? So we close below this low here pushed into it, went below. So that's honestly could be a sell, but then again, is it too early? Because it didn't touch the zone up here, you know, but I don't know. It's like, 
that's the same thing with what I was talking about earlier. It might not reach your zone. So then well, what do you look for? You look for the first reversal bar before the flip. And then again, it's like, okay, well, which reversal bar? The three bar? The what bar? Like, So it's, maybe it's whatever it's cleanest on. You can pretty cleanly see this one here. So maybe we'll map out that. And then look at that. It just rejected so cleanly. Right there off that, you get your double top. First tap. Okay, well, we didn't get a pattern. Didn't break below a wick or a low. Oh, this candle actually closed on it. Doesn't count. This candle opened below it. Opened below this wick. Wicked into it and pushed down. So it filled this zone and it filled the zone up here. You could use even the one minute wick one minute instead of the Orenko. Oops. I really want to learn what Dave Dave has to teach, but that's in his mentorship. I'll be getting the mentorship and I'll be teaching it here hopefully. And so yeah, I probably should have had you know, I like the system because it's like that's a sell. And it's like, okay, well, I could have closed this and sold, close my buy and sell, but I'll just leave it there. We'll see what happens. I might be going a little too slow. So honestly, I should have sold that, you know, in reality, looking back now, obviously. So we broke a low. What we can do is come back into the area that it broke. Didn't close on, you know, the one minute though. Let's see, you got the clean pattern on three. And another thing that I failed to mark out. Oh, that's the real zone. Dang. See, sometimes. How did I miss that? Mm. Didn't. Didn't exactly. See, I skipped my 6 or 10 bar analysis because there's this here. And that's also what price rejected on. Like a higher time frame zone. You got your first tap. Second tap, we can expect to even be bigger than the first one. So we can expect this run to be low. Yeah, this low to be run. We are a second rejecting off this other zone. See, that's the thing. You got so many zones on top of zones. It's like, I don't even know what's what sometimes. All right, I'll keep watching it. So it's like, how do we get in? And it's like, well, it would have been nice if there was a little wick here that we broke here, and then we could have got in. I mean, there was here, but then we didn't get the reversal in, so... We have a zone here, but it's like, I don't know, is that a valid low? It didn't make a new high according to this, so. And it's like, well, how far do we look back? I don't know, it's still, still some questions, of course. Lots of questions, always. Yeah, in reality, you keep seeing that pattern here. You got the fractal almost, the, the three drives, the one in the middle being larger. You know, looking at that, it's kind of tough to see if we look at the five second. This push up here, like. It's like he didn't exactly get a clean, a clean pattern. 
if you're, we're looking at fractal low to clean close high, that would be this. Did we ever close below it and get a push into the zone? No. So there's no entry on the five second basic. It pushed up a little bit on this rejection here, but you know, what's the low that it broke? I mean, it closed right on this low. Is this low? Like it's just kind of confusing. Whereas if we were looking right on the one bar, I mean, again, you can see it broke this low here and then rejected. And so it's like, okay, wait, where is that? on the five second. Okay, so this closed below this low, reject, pulled back into it, rejected, okay, I see that now. But you see how much longer it takes? It's like, you can see it instantly here now. Like, let's play. Oh, calm down. Oh, boy. I was looking for some pattern rejections. Well, I missed them. Went a little too fast. But what we had here, so you know, to him, son. We were expecting these lows to be ran, so it would be kind of hard. buy right off that level because it was a level that like you know at what point is this going to break this this zone it's already had one two three four and struggle fifth push out and so you can see it struggled here more than any other time that's one indication that it was time to break and also again we had this clean low break pull into the zone, double top in the zone, second push, you know, first scalp, first tap, first scalp, second tap, you know, generally longer a lot of the time. And so if the first tap made it to these lows, we can expect those lows to be broken again. And so kind of missed that zone. I should, I should have been looking for that cell. But anyways, and you have this on. So looking for this buy here, right? This candle, wick. Oh, it didn't actually close and open. So this wasn't a valid buy, but this one did. And then that pushed in. So this was an aggressive, risky buy. Would have lost, but you wouldn't have bought because you're still expecting sell. This is where you just follow, want to follow the higher time frame narrative. And that's by far in sell, especially with, you know, how far it's going down. And the open, it's literally on the open. Like you wouldn't have been able to see this anyways, because all this happened, all this PA happened in one second. You wouldn't have even had time to buy that anyways, really. But then what we do see here, you know, we got a break below this this low. Okay, and then push back up into it. Yeah. Three point stop, covered, bang. And you could have been holding position again. It didn't quite come up, but if it pushed up into this wick at all, right here, closed below this wick, came pushed up into it, closed bar, sell, three, bang. And there's also kind of a reverse pattern. You can use like failures to enter. So for example, we broke this candle here. Remember, we're looking for sells. We're in a sell higher time frame order flow. Look at that one minute candle. Obviously you wouldn't look for buys. Broke this high, came down, pushed into the wick, came up. Oh, it's a buy shift. I should be drawing these just so you guys could visualize it easier. Dave teaches pattern. But anyways, 
you know. But we're not looking for buys. We're looking for the failures of the pattern. So when this rejects the opposite way, that in itself, it's a shift up failure. So it's a sell signal. So you could sell there. Same thing happens here. We're looking for sells, but it did a shift up right here. Failure, same thing. Another sell. Okay, let's try to slow it down. This thing's going crazy. Oh, when it's it, it's hard to when it pushes like this because it's like, do you want to be taking an extended move? Like, are we looking for buys when it gets to this zone? Yeah. Follow what's happening. Okay, and so right here, we had a buy. But again, I don't know if you'd want to take it because sell high time frame. Probably wouldn't want to take that. Definitely not. Unless there was like a really money level, but I mean, it's pretty nice. 15 minutes good. It's a pretty nice low there. Okay, that's a huge wick. Let's get a modest wick here. Okay, here's our modest wick. Draw a zone from this modest wick. So, potentially could have been longs out of this. Because on the 15 minute structure or five minute, that's kind of the the engineered liquidity we have, right? So we had, what the hell? We had this wick and it pushed into the wick, but missed it without ripping it. So that's now making, you know, liquidity all in here. There's a lot of stops. People see this reversal here. They're like, oh, double bottom. Ton of people are going to buy. Stops here. A lot of liquidity there. So it's going to look to destroy, you know, seek and destroy profile, whatever, all that. I don't know what you want to call that if you want to subscribe to that. But the liquidity concept is there. So we're tapping into that now. All right, Bert, uh, Burke. Karaka? I can't remember his name. Let me pull up his Twitter. This guy has a, a basic video on it. On his YouTube. Real quick. This one, Understanding Intraday Narrative with Engineered Liquidity. So it's it, it's decent. You know, it's, it's, it's concepts that can help us understand, you know, price. And it, it does, you know, it's... It's the real thing, the liquidity, trend line liquidity, double bottom, obviously. So this actually could have been out of this whole push down and these failure shifts that we saw happening. This could have been the one that you could look to buy because it's in this zone. Even though we're expect, like, remember we were expecting this second push to be bigger. Well, she's, she's bigger now. That one went 30. This one's gone you know, to the top of the zone, it's gone 40. So it has run a bit extra. How far extra should it go? Uh, it's hard to say. It's like, in reality, I mean, if we really zoom out high, high time frame, you could use measured moves. Go for the bottom of the zone with this measured move call influence. That's, that's a heck of a good place to long. But longing here, I mean, broke above this wick high here. Push down, wait for the next reversal bar, buy. You know, aggressive stops, super aggressive there. Semi-aggressive three points, or yeah, most conservative right below the, the low of what the zone is.
so that would that would actually be pretty far down so uh, yeah or just the low of the structure because we're using this zone now and so you know 3.25 that's what I would do for sure and then you now we hit take profit right there I meant to actually take that trade but oh my god it's going fast. Okay, again. Broke below this wick here. Oh, didn't quite push up into it to get this sell, but didn't quite close above this wick. So that wouldn't have been a valid buy. But we're looking to come into this wick, and we did here. So this one ticked into this wick right here. So that's a valid sell because we at least got the tap, the tap into the level. So there's the pattern sell. This is all you do for continuation or if it like breaks a new low, you look for the 50% of the retracement move, right? So broke a low here oh you can look to sell at 50 50 percent of this and what do you get you get that so you could even just sell that it doesn't have to be a whole flip pattern right so it's another thing like it happens here broke below come into the zone that broke the structure that's what it's all about okay even a little counter trend buy right broke above it counter trend buys are a lot better going for the 50 percent instead of you know going for this these buys you know i mean you could have you wouldn't have got take profit would have got stopped out back here like if you took the really early buy but again remember i was saying this leg should expect to be bigger than this one. So no buys here. Wasn't really a zone here either other than this big one, but that was already, you know, it feels like it's mitigated already. Tapped in here, here, here again. I don't know how long I should record for. Y'all watch however long you want to watch anyways. <laughs> Maybe no one will make it to this point. We are like 30 minutes in or something. 40. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not paying attention. This thing's going too fast. Nick, valid buy. Like you can see this whole time. Did it ever break above it? Came down. Protected low. We even got a mini one right here. Look at that. So this is what I, I really like to pattern like this, because it's like such a micro pattern. Like seeing that six thirty one eighteen. Seeing that on the five second. Like I feel like that'd be kind of like it's kind of tough to see, because on the five second, like you know, I mean, it, you can see it, but it, it's not clean because it doesn't close above a fractal high right like this is a high in my opinion this isn't a high i mean it is a high in intermediate structure but like you know what i mean to the right is a lower high to the left is a higher high that's kind of weird to call it a higher high than this anyways it's got you know there's no gap like this one has that's ideally what we are looking to close over for the most basic of the setups. And ideally in between two lows. So this would be where we're looking, you know, we wouldn't even look, think about buying until we close above this high and then come back down into the zone here. Right? But it's just really, so, like 
three points the very bottom of the move, right? Like it's just, is this even the pattern I'm looking at? How long does this thing take to, it's like a freaking four second pattern. This one is like 20 seconds. So you, you wait, you can't even see it here. Check out the one second. So here you can see it. But again, it doesn't come into the 50%. No trade. So do you want to be aggressive or do you want to be, you know, more trades, more wins, more losses if you trade like this? Okay, is those extra wins, are they going to offset the extra losses? That's what you have to, you know, determine for yourself and for your psychology. Because I could create the data and be like, well, for me, yes. But is it for you? I don't know. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to manage these trades that might seem more aggressive. Because you might, you know, it might come down, push up, you buy, and then you get stopped out. And it goes up again. You buy again. And it'll stop you out. And it'll push up and buy again. And you're like, oh, well, I lost two times. I don't want to enter the third time and get a third loss. I'm at my daily max loss limit. But it's like, well, I mean, <laughs> you should have entered that third time because that was the one that went to the 50. So it's like, th this is the psychology thing that's going to mess you up. But if you're able to take the third one and this one goes way higher, it's like, okay, maybe a three-point stop, three-point stop. Okay, so you're negative six points. Well, this one right here, you know, if you go up 10 points, well, you're suddenly green. And, you know, 10 points, <laughs> it's not much on the NQ. So I've got a bunch of things I could talk about. Let me bring up just a little bit. A couple of video ideas. So like for the shift, should it be body over wick? Body over wick with and without a valid high low, as in a valid fractal, like I was talking about with this. Like if this candle break above here, okay, is that a break above a high or what about here? Like you could almost see very, very many. You know, the pattern was there too. That's how you see the pattern, right? So, but it's like it doesn't, here it actually looks like you can just see it so cleaner. Like, okay, that's an actual high. Whereas here you're like, okay, well, is this like an actual high? Like every candle here is a wick that looks like that. So, whereas here you can clearly see there's a high. There's a high, there's a high, there's a high. Like, we're trading swing points, so why not look at something that just tells you the swings, right? If we're trading a whole strategy that is all based on the swings and all that, just, we should just look at the swings. Like, if even just take these candles off and just use this swing, this swing line, <laughs> could just do that. But I mean, it's great. Like, you can almost take anything with the one to one. You would have got one to one there if you took this cell. Uh, I don't know. Here's a tap, too, because you can take this zone. First tap, second tap, you can expect it to be longer. Oh, she's gone longer. And you could almost have confluence with this because this is a failed shift down. So it shifted down here. Failed, like I was talking about. And then, what pattern do we have here? Within every pullback, you can look for the pattern, right? So we got it here again, right? Let's get some executions. Some, I mean, I, oh, I just, 
too fast. Too fast on this one replay for me. Thinking about everything. Look at the pattern here. Hopefully you can see the pattern here. Right? Broke this low, pushed into the zone, came out. One to one or at the high. Both would have hit. Okay, we pushed above this low. Can we get a break? Okay. I just thought, wait a minute. Bang! We <laughs> yeah, we should have a proper take profit. Easy money, right, guys? Like, it's just, it's just clockwork. Like all these examples I've talked about, like you just chill it up, protected low. I mean, I wasn't even doing it, but I, I could have added on, right? You see the flip here. It's just crazy, like, you get a one point stop loss, one point, like, you get four here, there's a four R. <laughs> it's just a four R in three seconds. You know, like, uh, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, we could, we could have took this as also anticipation pullback trades right here this little buy here so it's such a strong trend we're not even expecting this follow through really it did do a bit of follow through with this shift because here technically we had a shift okay so it shifted and then we're expecting a pullback so if we're expecting a pullback then why don't we buy? Oh yeah, that could be a buy. And then it shifted. Oh, would we sell? I mean, probably not. Probably not because structure is so high up. Like, so we let's take the failure. Let's take the failure. We can take the expectation of the pullback, the prediction pullback. And then if it fails, great. Just take it when it, or not when it fails, when the buy shift presents its confirmation you know take the trap that's a trap so you want to take the opposite reversal because that's a true direction so you know this is a shift it's trapping it's like okay algorithms coming in okay sell al sell algorithms kicking in jk trap the algorithm's like trapping itself <laughs> i don't even know uh, uh. So, I mean, you might be thinking, okay, well, that's a good sell because it's like pushing up into all these lows in this previous zone. Is, is, is it going to zone flip? I mean, the one minute, it's like, how far are we from, why don't I get bar timer data with the replay? I don't know how far we are from, I guess I can look here. Okay, we're 15 sec, 45 seconds from closing this and it's wicked down and up that much jesus so i'd be looking to keep buying don't sell that because it's like the candle is here we're pretty like that's the candlestick trap pattern wicks below it comes back in i mean you can expect that it's probably going to come back in and complete that pattern even though there's still 45 30 40 seconds now left on the candle well that's the five minute I mean, these are all things you can add on. You know, it's like, oh, well, that was a protected stop because it went up, you know. I guess that's the first break of a protected low unless you want to consider this low one. It's like, okay, well, there was a swing here that went up. Is that the protected low? 
because it was a low where to the left it was a higher high and then to the right it's a higher high so that's the lowest point that made a new high now is that is that protected but then again fractal point up on the three bar well the protected low is here now so it's like i think you should be wider with your your trailing earlier on in the trade and then as it gets to levels higher levels and whatnot then tighten it up so since we're pushing this level maybe tighten up the de degree at which protected low you trail because there's different degrees of protected lows obviously so the, i mean the one minute protected low obviously it's like why well, it's not really it's not really such of a thing in this case because it's bearish order flow even though we're in longs because we're longing off this mitigation level it didn't quite like if we had okay, it didn't push up into that now, I had no idea it was going to push up here like I, I honestly you know what's funny the only thing I knew it was going to do was push have a big push down because I had a friend say he sold at the open but I didn't even do it because I was I had it on too fast and it just went okay so I mean technically right here goodbye I didn't buy should have paused it again as usual so this is the protected low or I mean this is the protected high that we want to break so it broke it here with this candle this candle broke this high and then it reversed I'm starting to doubt. This scar could go down, make the wick, and then close up. So it's like it didn't necessarily close up first. All right. Hmm. Well, that's a lot of analysis for the first freaking five minutes, <laughs> three minutes of the open. Sheesh. Holy shite. I wish I didn't get stopped out. I'm sad. <laughs> so, I mean, just just, just because how powerful this strategy is, I mean, we did have a flip sell. And it made money. Three point take profit. <laughs> Broke this low. No, we didn't. Well, so freaking bearish, you wouldn't really want to, or bullish, you wouldn't really want to sell unless we see some more confirmation. So I've got too many zones drawn up. I don't want to remove them all. Yes, this is the zone I want to paying attention to because we're there now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try to get another trade. Uh, I mean, it's, it's too fast. I have done two times, but that's a continuation buy. Would you want to buy at these levels? I don't know about that. Okay, so here, if we get a I mean, technically, it could have been in a cell since here. Because we 
broke below these lows. Did we? Yeah, broke below them. Came back. Confirmation. Did it go into the zone? Oh yeah, perfect tap. Let's see, will it hold? I don't think it's gonna hold. I think it's gonna go up more. Could be totally wrong. Well, you would've got your tick profit there, I think. Maybe. No, oh, one more tick. Sad. Well, I mean that sell would've worked out. Right, third tap off this zone. And you would have got your scalp been at break even right now, or stop still up here with runner, or whatever you want to do. So there was a one bar flip long. I mean, let's take a peek at five seconds. I mean, it's like one minute. It's like there's no trades on the one minute, you know? This whole open. I mean, sure, you could have had this, this sell. But after this sell at the very open, you know, this, there hasn't really been anything in change of state delivery here. We're about to close over. So, I mean, that's a pretty freaking fat zone. We're going to come back down to this point this level let's get rid of that because that's kind of mitigated now even though it's respected didn't close below it is it mitigated it is though but it can still be respected ah I keep keep doing wrong So like for the five second, let's see if we can see the, like, there hasn't been a close blow there. So five second, nothing sell. And it's just hard to see like, okay, we could have, there's a low here and then it made a high, broke below the low, came in. It's just like, not that clear. There's the one bar, I can just see every little detail of the shifts like it was you know this is still the protected high we're s so this is the first sell but I mean theoretically it could stack up any of these for cells but also like one thing I'm thinking okay well do you take the zone from the first swing break or do you see how far it pushes? So for these cells, yeah, because it's only broken these two. So go from like the furthest zone. So this push down, okay, it broke up to this low. So you could take that as the swing for your zone. So now after it broke it below, look for the cells here. And you can see it worked. Of course we know it works. You know, there was a long here, but. It's too early to be long in. Freaking an hour in, Jesus. Bang, bang. <sighs> See where she goes. Broke, slow. Let's look to come up here. Pfft. 
again. Double top. Honestly, this is a zone that we should have used for multiple entries. So we had this zone. Now we broke it here, tapped in, first sell, but unmitigated still, tapped in here, but we didn't get the shift. Like, this is the first pullback. If we look on the five second, no, there's not really, there's, there's no shift. On the five second, I mean, unless you consider break of this open, but opens are like the low at fifty fourteen. Hmm, I mean, it's tough. It it didn't break the low. So that's like there's no entry because it didn't even. You know, there's still a point and a quarter away. I mean, you could take the first touch of 21 EMA. That's why I do have the EMA on there. I like to visualize. I've been using these EMAs for a long time. So here again, we could have almost taken a shift failure for an entry. We ran this high, came down, gave us the shift up. But I wouldn't be looking to buy here, looking to sell. Bam. Okay. We would look to buy if maybe, you know, on the one minute, like it came down a bit more. You know, like there's still this fair value gap. We didn't even fill this gap at all. So it was too early to buy. So that would be a decent continuation sell. It's the first pullback after the EMAs cross. That's something I like to look for. This is a good sell. In the previous strategy, I, I looked a lot of time for like double bottoms off the 55 EMA after a fresh cross between the 55 and 144. So that's what, I mean, it's, just, it's interesting how that confluence with, like I would have sold that M pattern you know, use a MACD to look for divergence between these highs, but with structure and understanding the flow and more things like, it's definitely a lot better. So we did get a shift up, but it's got to come into this zone ideally. Crossed up, okay, so that could have been a sell or a buy, I mean, and then this could have this could have been a sell. So we had the break above this low, pull back and do it. Reverse bar up, but reverse bar down. So at this point, it's like, hmm, I'm late. Could I just enter for the buy now because it's at the same level? I mean, you could, but it's almost looking like a failure, and I don't like that. I wouldn't. Maybe if it went up. If it reverses the bar up, yeah, maybe. No, see, it's just, it's just wanting to fill this gap more. And you know, now we're in a, in a discount or a premium of the range. So you, buying more, I don't know here. Probably not. Have to come down lower. Like if you wanna. That's the spot, really. Fill the gap in a. We can use IT, ICT like that. So, as you see, it's really clear. I was kind of confused with all the chop. I'm like, I mean, I could map it out. Here's the lowest low. Bring it up to the high. Here. Came back. That would have been a good buy. We weren't quite at the level, so it's kind of just waiting for a tap, not paying attention. But I mean, when it's clean like that, and you get a, th you can see on the three bar, we're, you know, a nice pattern.
So we tap the level now. got the turn shift dot but you can see it failed pretty quick so if we look on the five second could we have avoided that so not really it's kind of the zone I would do for the five sec so I would do this one because this candle, like, it's hard because that's like the lowest closing candle, but it didn't close over the previous wicks. This is the lowest closing candle that closed over previous wicks, and then this is the fractal high. So if you take, I take that zone. Then with this, we can look to be like, oh, we could have been looking for longs when it went went back down I mean we didn't get a shift so no longs lower zone could have been oh this and it just violated that with no shifts too so this zone down here I mean it ran the low that's not what we want it ran the low before going higher we should have had this zone, you know, we should have still been using that zone, because even though it validated here and here, shift pattern was below, so another case where you could detect the shift failure would have actually been the right play, and if you notice again, first pullback to 55 EMA, double top, you're going to see, it's, it's a pattern that comes in line with momentum and everything. 